actually a group uh, on Facebook, which you need to join if you're looking for a roommate. We lived um, off campus. Um, I lived in, in the Chase. It was, I think, a 10 minute shuttle ride, I believe. Some people live at SMU Boulevard. I think there is, there is another uh, apartment complexes there, which are a bit pricey because they are technically on campus. Uh, when I, there are some people who lived on the dorm too. So in the dorm on, on campus itself. try to take a shorter lease and then they will give you an option to extend the lease because if you break it you will have to pay one and a half months rent so always be careful with with leasing take a shorter lease I think uh, because it's a short program I think um, a six month lease would be would be doable ish if you're living with someone if you're living alone then maybe 800 ish uh, for rent and then consider of about 60 to 80 bucks for utilities everybody just told me that the, the, you just gone for one reason you've gone to study there you have to make through this time so um, yeah you just have to prepare yourself an i20 date of x just calculate your number of days and you can go like 30 days from that date you cannot go more than 30 days before orientation is a must you should attend the orientation it's on plagiarism it's on how the course is structured how how i mean how is it going to be different all the different stuff like because it was a business school so they also talk about um uh, what all things are available there are uh, there are networking sessions in the evening almost every evening somebody from uh, from a company comes and talks to you so all that stuff it's it's good stuff so when I was there it was 60 um, we had about 20 uh, Chinese, 10 Indians, and about 12 Americans. Because it was a business school, we did have some who were really experienced, like seven years, eight years of experience. Uh, average amount of experience was one and a half year. I would recommend taking an experience in programming at least. So have a programming experience. So even if even if you you do not get like a proper experience, like a job thing, but uh, do take internships over here. You know, just just get comfortable with uh, coding, get comfortable with statistics. Um, yeah, and then go because it's going to be a, be really fast. Uh, yeah, by the time you pick the new stuff up, if you are not up to date with the programming and statistics and stuff, you will get lost. So uh, it's good to have some experience. And because it's a business school, it's good to have some experience.